Okay, um, you know, one of the emphasis today was uh, you got to play hard for 40 minutes. And um, we, we said that going back to the UCF game, we played pretty darn well for about 36 minutes. And, and then for the three and a half minutes, we didn't finish, and especially at the defensive end. And we learned our lesson. We, we came back and we had some discipline and some toughness and some wherewithal to, to play hard for 40 minutes. As you could tell, we needed every second of it. Yeah, he, uh, you know, he took it. He took it upon himself. He was accountable. Um, you know, one of the big plays at UCF was the, the drive dunk, and Kadeem probably should have been there for a shot block or for taking a charge. So, again, there's a lot of um, things that you learn from losing. So we, we won tonight because of the three and a half minutes we didn't play um, tough enough at UCF. Um, what play? The, our last offensive yeah, play? The, the our last practice. offensive play, I can't even remember. Um, JJ answered it. Yeah, um, he scored that we drew it up that way. Now, I, I, I just, I, Brenda, I'm sorry, I can't even remember, um, you know, how, what, what happened that last offensive possession. We were so locked in. Um, we scored. I think it might have just been a second effort type of play. And we may, again, it, w it goes back to what happened at UCF. Um, we have a lead, even though they made plays. We, Kadeem had a couple of s touches in the paint. We didn't finish. Um, so we just had the, you know, we had the resiliency and the discipline and the toughness to finish plays, uh, playmaking at the offensive end and stops at the other end. Hey, uh, Jerome and, uh, and JJ, had strong finishes. How much have they gone to restore the trust that you mentioned? Um, it was good. You know, it was, again, I haven't really changed the rotation. It's how you play when you go in. And there was, they did things right. They, they had a good demeanor on the floor. Um, wasn't any hanging the heads and other things. But they trusted what we wanted to do. And, you know, there's going to be some ups and downs in the game. How do you handle it? And they handled it pretty well. Eddie, when it was 15:35, and you guys took that time out, what kind of went on in that huddle um, in terms of the kind of got guys turned around? Uh, I can't remember. I know I remember the timeout you're talking about because um, we kind of um, put a dent in that, and we came back. Um, I just can't remember exactly what was said. It was about getting stops, and I said we. One thing I said, we can't trade baskets. You know, <laughs> to order to win the game, you got to get stops. And it was about not what I said, but who was in there. And the people that were in there got it done. I think Craig and Malik were instrumental in that sort of a run. Um, but it was, you know, it was on the players. That, I didn't do a whole lot. It was just to them, they learned from the previous night or the previous game. Did you expect the ball to go to run there at the end? Um, well, it was about four seconds left. I thought maybe they would throw it at, at the rim or in the paint. Uh, the, they followed the game plan. We said the only switches would be Wally and Kadeem um, switching in the paint. Everyone else, you, you're trailing out and you're just locking in on your man. There's gonna, not going to be any confusion. If they beat us, it's going to beat us on a one-on-one -on -one move or at least a contested uh, defensive play. But it won't be any, we lost a man, a guy got an open shot, or a guy got a slip to the rim. Cause not going to be any of that. We want to lock in. We have the game plan at that particular possession, and they follow through. How much do you feel like the second effort hustle helped cut that deficit so quickly? Well, it was a whole lot of those type of players in the game, you know, guys who aren't really concerned about scoring, guys who won't hang their heads. Um, you know, we practiced for now five, six months, and, um, you know, those guys are always the same in practice. They don't care about their shots. They don't care about missing a shot. They don't care about not getting a shot. They don't argue about calls. Uh, and, you know, Craig Brown and uh, Malik, they're big with that. And um, they're, they're very versatile with their guard. You know, Malik is playing guard and forward. Uh, JJ's playing guard and forward. Um, and Craig is playing, you know, a small forward and a big forward. So we were pretty flexible and versatile in that regard. Toward the end, when USF nearly got a game-winning alley, what allowed that play to nearly happen? The game-winning alley. Uh, 
with about 15 seconds left. For yeah. them? Yeah. Yeah, well, they missed it. We, we sort of maybe got away with one, maybe, because um, okay. there was a lot of contact there. But, you know, again, it, the teams that uh, rise to the top are the teams that make plays, whether it's good defense or no defense. Um, but you got to make plays at the other end. As much as we talk about defense, you know, my old line is no one wins 0-0. Zero, zero. So you got to outscore the other guy. You got to make plays at the other end. And uh, I'm a big proponent of defense, and yet there has to be balance. And I believe in balance. You have to be able to convert plays when you need to convert plays. And we did it tonight. And, you know, we had to stop when we had to get a stop. South Florida is pretty good on the defensive end, but four turn only four turnovers for your guys. Is that uh, um, Yeah, I mean, that's wow. I didn't know that. That's. Um, what did we shoot? Uh, 30, 30, 30 you, know, you know, sometimes when you don't turn it over, you're taking bad shots sometimes. <laughs> and so uh, I just didn't lock in on that. I, I know that at least our bench came in. We talked about Jerome and guys coming in. We, we trusted the offense a little bit more than we had. More questions? Wrap up.